Yeah, Robert Milkins, he said Rishi there, he fancies his bag as Bob. Ideally suited to this environment. Yes, and he's played in every one flame shootout there's been. It's in its eighth year. So he's picked up quite a bit about how to play the format. Yeah, I had a chat with him after his, uh, his win earlier on today, and he, he said he was incredibly nervous, but then, I suppose when you think about it, every snooker player's nervous every time they play in a match, so no change there. That's how you cope with it. The KG opening. Two minutes without a ball potted. Yeah, now he's going to have to play some sort of shot here, Hamza. No roll up, obviously, so I've got to play it this with a little bit extra pace. Make sure he hits a cushion. Just made it. Oh, how clean is that? He's unlucky not to be on the block. I don't think the blue goes, but the green does. How's he feeling? I know he'll take it on, that sort of player. Milkins has got Eagles with natural ability. Five. Just very natural in the way he sides up a shot, gets straight into his stance, and with the minimum of preliminaries, he fires. as well in the game he uses his cues an absolute caper and an iron rod really bashes through the ball almost bullies them in he does have a exquisite 20. touch as well when it's needed That's 21 an example of it there he just looked to the heavens because the red at the back he just pushed it Beyond the other red, it doesn't go. So it's a red on the bulk line he's going to play for. Oh. And these, the amount of times that player misses a simplish black because it, his eyes on the pack that he's playing into. Not the first time, it certainly won't be the last. And the disappointment almost to not having the red at the back of the cluster to play on. Partly the reason he missed it. Six. table this one even though he's at the table still he needs at least another red and high value colour to hit the front there's only two of those reds at present and you see it's still seven behind pink and 14. black out of commission 
So still looking for two more reds to at least tie. That will do nicely. Straight blue. 15. Perfect angle on it, nothing to do with the cue ball. Quite hit it there. Not the tallest player, I think he just about reached this. Can he? 20. Yeah. <laughs> Running down, pressure in this, and he didn't cope with it. So, only one in this. Three and a half minutes to go. Fast and furious action was promised in the one frame shootout. There was plenty of scope for tactical play. Now, has he got cover with a yellow? If he has, it's an excellent shot. The situation of the frame is pretty straightforward here. Hamza Akbar barring a foul from Bob is going to have to pot something in the next two and a half minutes. Often you see Robert Milkins on the defensive, but that's what's going to be happening for the remainder of this frame. And did you see that guy's bridge arm quivering as he played that shot? sound crazy but he'd probably be as, he'd be as well putting the blue in the side cushion here that would mean Bob would need two reds, two colours black and pink as they are but nah, that's just maybe being ultra defensive so a ten point lead, less than a minute Into the last 40 seconds. Yeah, do not, under any circumstances, go for a pot here, Hamza. That's a good shot. That was Milton's his last chance. He recognises it by offering his hand. With 11 seconds still to play, so Hamza Akbar is into the third round, the last 32. 